So we'll take a look at the size when I get it in that little, the little Kelsey. Boy, they got a lot of spunk. Okay. It's hard to believe the kind of muscle that they have, even a fish that's that size. Oh yeah. Although we may think he's he's small by the coast standards, he'd be a nice fish anywhere. Channer's gonna net him. Channer's bringing he's him. He's gonna in. hand him. <laughs> We always forget the net. Nice right, I got him all under the chin. Yeah. Nice. Beautiful pole, Dale. Yeah, that's all right. You can let him go. Yeah, little guy. Nice shape, though, eh? He's nice and chrome. Look at that. Yeah. Beautiful fish. Yeah. <laughs> Let him go. Let him go. Good job. There's a little wee. Look at that thing. The little wee. The little Kelsey. The baby. Yeah. <laughs> the baby watch Kelsey. it. Yeah. The baby Kelsey. That's right. Jeez. Uh, you gotta watch that. Oh, you yeah, see okay. Well, I gotta get one. You want one of these guys? I know. No? Okay. There you go. Fish. Oh, no, but you wanna. Do you I want a little baby? Oh, you got the baby. Get one in front of a fish. One in front of a fish. Had a gorgeous morning, though. Beautiful out here. See, here's the little baby Kelsey's. The little babies. Yeah. Yeah. Wanna try one? Little guy? Try one. The little guy? The little guy. We got the little guy. <laughs> this is talking. We're talking small fly. <laughs> small fly in clear it's water. Cleared right up. That's right. Right back. Clear water. You might as well go with the little guy. <laughs> We're talking. set up going yet but you know we're, we're gonna have a couple of different setups today we've got our normal you know eight nine weight rods single hand we've got a couple of switch rods to go we're gonna be fishing some long runs in deep pockets so it should be a phenomenal day and I feel I think just miss another one so that's today so we take a sport fishing
Come on over on the gravel so we can see you at least. Come on, you gotta be getting to Anytime you get him close to the rocks, he just holds. I can't even see him. Well, they blend in pretty good. That's weird, eh? Yeah, he must really blend because He sure as heck doesn't. Oh, there he is out there. Chamarok, Chinook. It looked like a Chinook when he jumped when I was over my way. Uh, whatever he is, he's fresh because he's strong and big. They really don't like to come out of that deep, eh? There he comes. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> big back on him. I think it's a Chinook. Oh. I'm calling it. You're calling Chinook. Nice Chinook, eh? Whew. That's weighing some pounds. I'll just get her ready for the release. There she's going to get ready to go. That's a beauty. There she goes. All right, <laughs> Chinooky. time. Thank you very much for bringing us out to the lodge. You know, it's phenomenal. If you want world-class coho fly fishing, you come here. But it's not just about the fly fishing, is it? You got a bunch more. Yeah, well, we have a, well, we operate from uh, June till the end of October. Wow. And uh, June, July, August are all in the ocean. And okay. we do ocean salmon, halibut, lingcod fishing. And then we close for a couple weeks and then we open in the fall for this uh, coho fishing. And it's fly only. And we only take up to six guests for these trips. Oh, okay. And we go from you know the late late September till around the 20th of October. And you know the cool thing about here is you're so close to the like the open ocean. Japan's right there. Yeah. Like right where we're sitting in the lodge, uh, you can say you go 35 miles for tuna if you want. You've got all the salmon inside. You pretty well yeah. have anything you want, right? Yeah. Halibut, it's, everything. It's a really yeah. We're we're in a great area, and it's uh it's these uh, these trips we're doing up here are really unique. Where we use the boat to get to the mouth of the river, and then we go up the river in the zodiac. It's the coolest thing in the world. But yeah. biggest thing again, as I mentioned, world class coal. This is this is uh, you're gonna get the biggest northerns here, aren't you? Well, it, I don't think coho get any bigger than the ones we have here. Like the, we see them over 20 pounds regularly, as you, as you yeah, guys as have we've found caught. out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's surprising where we are. You know, we're in northern yeah. Vancouver Island, and these are. You know, these are medium to small, small rivers. Well, definitely, yeah, you know what? We're coming back. Oh, Whether good, you like yeah. it or not, oh, we're coming no, it's back. it's great, yeah. Thanks again, man. Yeah, you <laughs> bet. Awesome. It's a great trip. <laughs> this episode brought to you by The Frog Boat, Islander Precision Reels, and Maui Jim. Because I couldn't switch. I ch kept changing. Oh, oh, oh. oh! He spit it. Did you see the oh. air time? Wow. Oh, just like that. Boom, boom. Gone. You know what? 
Some stuff like that, it's worth it. Like that is just outstanding. That's the only trouble with little hooks. They got to snarf You know the down crazy or... thing is, Dale just gave me one of these. So of course he's been using it all day. And I've been trying different stuff. Oh, and he busted me off, that's why. Dale, he broke me off with the 15. Yeah, that's why I say. Oh, no, he didn't. He oh, didn't. He got no, he didn't. He spit it. He still, still got beat. Still got it. <laughs> but that's the crazy thing, you know, with the Kelsey small now, it's got the green and the blue, of course, polar bear, and the silver body. Okay, I tried green, tinsely stuff, blue, tinsely, again, same size. Wouldn't touch it. It has to be this fly. And just like that, the guy just, it just, oh, I just don't get it. So, you know what? It just has to be a Kelsey's. If you're going coho fishing, gotta have them. That's just crazy. That was a toad. <laughs> that was awesome. So we've, we've had about four or five different holes and you know, we've got some real nice, what they call traditional runs where it actually sweeps your fly down across and you can retrieve it. But this one, you know, really big hole. It's just a really deep hole and we're fishing it essentially just as you have to retrieve the fly. So we've all got the same setups on, you know, uh, the 200 grain, eight, 24 foot heads. And the cool thing here is the fish will stack in this tail out and they'll also go deep into that hole. So Dale and Brian are working deeper in the hole and I'm working the tail out back here. But the key is, uh, you know, getting that fly. So I'll show everybody, you gotta get the fly out here. So again, long, fairly long cast. Get it out there, and then we gotta let it sink. That hole's about 20 feet deep out there. Oh, oh and Dale just lost one. And you gotta sink it right down. You let it sink for a while, and then once you think you're down around the fish, they're sitting around 15, 10 to 15, you start bringing it back. And just nice little slow pops. And you just wanna track them in, and for some reason, they just are killing the small Kelsey's. It's just, uh, it's a size, size eight, just small. There. And just like that, oh, that's a good one. And they're just following it every time. And they're just crushing it. Oh, and there he goes. Unbelievable. So as soon as we changed over, they were on it. Just, just incredible. So everybody saw how I did that. You know, I just cast out, let it sink, and brought it back. And that, oh, look at him. He's way over in front of Brian. <laughs> Jumping way over there. And this, hole here is just full of coho. Whoa, and it's coming back at me. Whoa, this could be trouble. That's why you know, oh, there he is, cartwheeling. That's why you need a large arbor reel. Large arbor reels are so important. You gotta pick up in a hurry. And again, recommend a setup, eight weight rods. 24 foot head for sure. Do not come with less than that. 24 to 30 foot head you need for a sink tip because you are fishing faster, faster, skinnier water, but deep, deep holes. And these coho are just stacked in here. Oh. Whoa. Oh, this is another nice one. Not as big as the one I just lost. Dale just landed a 25 pound plus coho, like record coho. I just lost one. And now I got a, feels like, you know, this one feels like the standard size. Looks about a 12 pounder or so. They're just on it, eh? That little fly, like it's just crazy. I'll show everybody the little, little Kelsey as soon as I get it in. Hopefully I can land this guy. Oh man. Another nice one. And you know, I think they'll all just draw back after you bring them in. Oh no, pull off, pull off. Yeah, that's the only thing, they're little, little hooks. After all that time, hooks. but you saw it, you know, everybody saw the cast. Made the cast out there, let it sink down. Nice drifts back, saw the hook up. That's just, it's just crazy. <laughs> that's the one, again, we talked about putting some more up on the site. Yeah. That was mine that I was picked. That's right. That, the Kelsey, so, it's coming out of the vault. That's right, what we're doing is we're gonna, we're gonna bring a bunch of flies out of the vault that we've had in the vault for the past 10 to 15 years. And there it is. The little, the little Kelsey's. The little Kelsey's. So these right, are some of the coal. favorites. This is one of Dale's favorite for coal, and obviously just a killer this trip. <laughs> that guy there. It's just a, you know, one small, like a little size eight, you know, 3X, 4X long hook, not even 2X long. Just killer. 
killer. And then you got other ones that come out of the vault, yeah. which is pretty cool. Brian has brought in a bunch of Brian flies out of the vault. Out. I've got my favorites out of the vault, so stay tuned on the site. It's going to be pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and yet, this thing's killer. That's like four casts, two big fish. I know. I told you, I offered them to you before. Where are you standing? Here or down right here? here? I'm, this is my spot right okay. here. No, no, that's why I'm going to go below. I'm going to go where Brian was. <laughs> yes, he's got his beauty spot. This episode brought to you by The Frog Boat, Islander Precision Reels, and Maui Jim. What do you think? Go home? Oh, or do you know? Oh, you think it's a Chinook? He hasn't jumped yet. Oh, yeah. He's fighting like one, isn't he? I think it's a big Chinook. See you, Dean Dale? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Maybe well, he's going to wake the pool up. What fly did you? Did you stick with Sparkler? No, I put the Kelsey oh, back on. Oh, you put Kelsey back on. The only really thing that's worked in the few days we've been up here is being Kelsey's hope. Like, that's been a killer. Don't oh, worry. no, he's gone. Lots of line, right? He ripped you so far down. Oh, that worked. Uh, Kelsey's hope again, right? I could have waited out if I had a net. Oh, uh, <laughs> it's tough. So you went back to it? Yeah, I went back to it. Wow. I thought you were going to stick it out with me with the sparklers. It what looks like your line's way over there. He's what still he? on, I oh, think. he's still Brian. on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He must have turned. Into yeah, the one yeah, he, yeah. He must have I turned. saw your line going to the <laughs> bank. I thought that's <laughs> not natural. Well, oh. went, well, he may have wrapped, right? Oh. Now. <laughs> that's a good story. <laughs> that is a bit. Yeah, he was gone. Like I thought he was gone because oh, yeah. everyone wants slack. Went slack. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, and you think, oh, now he's gone. Now he's now gone. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> are, you sure? are you sure he's gone, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my I god, I didn't get my money's worth out of this guy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I think he's gone. No, he's not. They just must just turn and go real fast, right? Well, that's Makes, what they're doing. I mean, yeah. They feel like it's well, slack line. Slack thing. line, yeah. <laughs> well, obviously he's well hooked. <laughs> yeah, I think so. He is now. He may have turned a couple times on you. <laughs> You're working him. <laughs> Finally warm. I'm warm. Yeah, you warmed down. <laughs> you did. You warm him out. <laughs> warm me, warmed me up. <laughs> Look at that, eh? Isn't that unreal? Beautiful. Isn't it? Like how big that's got to be pushing. 20, 20. yeah, 22 ish. Look at that. All right. Here what a battle. He's going to go too. He didn't like it. <laughs> Man, after that fight too. Yeah, Cheddar. <laughs> Holy cow. And that's the beauty out here, right? We got, so we got all the different Chinooks now coming in from the Kanuma hatchery. Because yeah. they got to kind of get lost, right? You did that sampling. Yeah. Yeah. Which is kind of cool. It is. Learned and they, something about it. Yeah, yeah, and they said they got about 800 Chinooks in the system, uh, just many coho, if not more. So yeah. good run. Oh, yeah, lots of coho. Very cool. Now we got to get a coho, and you went back to Kelsey's. I went back. You let me down. I thought you were going to be a sparkler <laughs> guy like me. I tried. I know, it's tough. Because, you know, you're just stripping so fast yeah. all day and casting heavy flies. But yeah. good job. Good. Nice fish. Brian. You know, those are just our rods. Just, where's the bulldog's rod? Uh, one. Just one. I just bring one rod, one fly. That's all I need. <laughs> that was we it. can't do that. I know. That was the day, though. You know, we had uh, we had three days out here, and we had three spectacular days. But if you didn't have that fly, you were toast. I took it out of the vault. My little Kelsey's <laughs> out of the vault. And both days, all three days, actually. You know, we did the sparkler thing. We taught Brian was diligent, tying a bunch up the other night. Did they work? No. <laughs> Tragic. The only thing Kelsey's, but what a great day. Oh, oh yeah. Fabulous fish. You know, when I asked Dale the first time, would you come back? Uh, I think we'd all be back in Harpy, wouldn't oh, we? Size of those fish. 
Absolutely. Well, I know. Fantastic. <laughs> World-class coho. So if you want that, you got to come to Rug Rugged Point Lodge. You know, we're right on the West Coast. We're essentially next stop, Japan. Beautiful area. Great lodge. Fantastic food. Yeah. You know, Matt cooking up the food. We had so much help. Kevin, our guide. Matt. Oh, there's so many people to thank. Who's the girl that helped us? Marie. 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 She Marie. Was yeah, awesome. Man. We had so much help. And now we're going to sign off. We had a fantastic time. But when you come here, you got to take care. Conserve waters. And we'll see you next time when we take a sport fishing on the fly. This episode brought to you by 